Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Arrow and today we're jumping back into the scariest videos on the internet. If you guys are enjoying the series as much as I am, make sure to show that love, show that like, hit that subscribe button, you know, leave a comment down below. And I'm always interacting with you guys in the comments. I'm always responding no matter what the shape or form. Um, if you guys have questions on the video, anything like that, I'd love to answer those for you in the comments. Um, other than that guys, if you guys are new here, it's good to see your new faces and I really hope you guys stick around to the end of the video. Let's jump on in and let's get this party started. But records a video in her kitchen. The purpose of the video is to show an ice machine that she recently purchased as there's something about it that creeps her out. The ice maker, according to her, makes a very strange noise during the late hours of the night. So one night, as the ice machine makes its unusual noise, Hershka heads over to the kitchen to record the sound. But as she records this video, something pretty creepy is caught on camera. What was supposed to be a short, random video turned out to be a terrifying clip that Pershka has recently taken down for unknown reasons. She didn't say why she took down the clip, but it seems that the video itself says it all. All right, Have let's see the video. <clears throat> Yo, what was that standing in your corner? Pause, rewind. Like a scene out of a horror movie, Pershka walks into the kitchen and captures Freeze. for just a split a second the figure of a little girl. Even creepier is that whoever this was just disappears as soon as ah, the lights I don't turn like on. Children ghosts, bro. It's for this they reason me out. that viewers believe she had taken down the clip, as otherwise the they would continue to remind her of this they're disturbing incident. Normally they're the most active. Whatever was captured has left her extremely unsettled. Ooh. Even <laughs> though this video was taken a few years ago, it is still unknown as to whether or not Perska has There's captured no something paranormal on camera. I would say you captured something paranormal. In the early 2000s, there used to be an abandoned asylum in Massachusetts known as Denver like State be Hospital. Fun to go explore. Before shutting down in 1992, but I do it. the asylum had an estimate of 3,000 patients, all of uh, whom were severely like mentally ill and poorly treated. Nurses who used to work here recall seeing horrifying things that continue to haunt them to this day. From patients walking around in their own filth due to a lack of basic hygiene, to patients receiving forced lobotomies that would often leave them in a much worse state than before. By the way, if you guys don't know what a lobotomy is, that's where they basically go in with a needle like up your nose and then basically like make you brain dead. So if you don't know what a lobotomy is, go do your research on it. It's terrible. Employees of the Danvers State Hospital are haunted by these terrible memories. However, aside from the past, the asylum is infamous for being extremely creepy. After shutting down in 1992, teens would come here after hearing rumors that the building was haunted. Although this Bro, next video like wasn't taken by a trespassing for, team, like, it was taken by a curious your, security like, guard back in 2000 like whose that. job was to look after the historic building. But little Man. did he know that he would capture something I very strange while exploring the basement of the Bro, asylum. Not a chance. Take a look. look at that. That looks like... What do you call it? Outlast? Outlast 1? Legit. That's also based in an asylum. I ain't trying to end up like that either. Old Bane Asylum. Got a crazy doctor in there. Gonna do microsurgeries on you, turn you into a mutant. Bro, watch that big outlast guy come beep it around the corner. Like right there, like, oh, I'm gonna touch you. <laughs> I didn't make it past the first mission. It's a bit hard to see so. at first, but as the night guard pans the camera to a room inside I the basement, a shadowy figure can I be seen, seen moving slowly inside. The guard doesn't notice the figure until much later after rewatching the footage. Naturally, he was left shaken up after seeing what appears to be a slender looking silhouette walking for. See, but. In that situation, though, our uh, like human eyes, we don't see that. So he was completely probably unaware of this until he went back, looked at his film, and then he realized it. But that's that's super hard to capture, even with though, an eye just by discreetly looking at your video, unless you're like intently looking for something so that would be in a supernatural basis. Mind you, the basement of this building <clears throat> like is that? completely inaccessible to outsiders, I didn't see that. so there's no way that a trespasser could have been inside. It's no wonder that viewers believe That's something horrifying. supernatural was captured. But of course, the question is begged. Just what exactly was caught on camera? Whether ghost or not, it remains That's a mystery a as to what was captured. Look like a witch. It's definitely a girl. That's for sure. 
Now you the see, following like the video was dress. submitted to me by someone who has no idea where the video came from. Its original source is unknown, but despite its mysterious origins, the clip is sufficiently creepy on its own. The video seems to have come from a CCTV camera that was placed in front of a driveway. Everything appears to be normal until you notice the two strangers that are standing outside the owner's home. They come into view as the owner beams them with the car headlights, presumably as an attempt to scare them off. Oh this, goodness, however, bro. doesn't work. They're still there while eerily standing still. It is at this point, though, where things get really creepy. I also think, bro, what I would think is the most terrifying is people, too. Like, I feel like I'd be more terrified of going into an abandoned place, knowing I'm going to see ghosts or the unknowns of somebody squatting in that home. There was something, I believe, with, like, Sam and Colby. They, like, went and explored some, like, lumber mill. Mill and night abandoned lumber mill. I, I And correct me if I'm wrong, if any of you out there are Sam and Colby fans. But they, they caught a video of somebody actually physically getting murdered by somebody else out in that lumber mill and they were screaming all that they had to take the video down it was under investigation but yeah no like that's the kind of like things that you there's there's a possibility so be careful if you do plan on going to explore these abandoned places or even like even with people now these days showing up to your house that that guy looks like he lives in the country um i mean bro it's crazy like people are scarier than ghosts are i swear now these days like, look at that you know what that reminds me of neighbors or that one movie where like I'm trying to think strangers strangers right strangers i'm trying to think of that where those those people come to the home that they're supposedly vacationing at those kind of movies Oof. that's what that's what this is reminding me of bro no way Ain't no way, In utter bro. disbelief, the property owner sees Ain't the two strangers no disappear way. without a trace. Yo, if I was him, I wouldn't even know what to say. He even walked up. They, you, those were clear as day apparitions. I thought those were people. Clearly, there had been two individuals standing Yo. outside, but somehow they vanish as soon as the lights are flashed again. Now, how exactly this happened is something viewers can't seem to explain. And with little info on this clip, the video becomes even more mysterious. Bro, and that's on a if CCTV. If two strangers were seen on camera, then how is it possible that they suddenly disappeared? Which is, by the way, people, if you don't know what CCTV is, it's security cams. In the following video, a man is woken up after hearing strange noises inside his apartment. The man lives alone, so he finds it alarming to hear what sounds like an intruder inside his home. He quickly grabs his phone and begins to record. Boys, I'm gonna let you guys take a second. Go leave a comment down in the bottom of the video. Tell me what you would do in that situation. What are you gonna do in that situation? Cause I don't even know what I would do. I'd be questioning everything. Strangely, the sound of footsteps can be heard coming from above as though someone is in the attic. Now the man in this video is known as Nick Long and it wasn't until the next morning that he decided to leave from the safety of his room to investigate the attic space. <laughs> He treads carefully as to avoid nah. any physical confrontation. You have an attic, bro, like that, where you have a door for the stairs just to go up. Nah, it's haunted. 110%. Your house is built in like, what, 1900s? Ex Dude, you gotta expect that. Expect it to be haunted. Like, that looks haunted. That looks like where they used to, like, keep people, man. You could make so much more square footage out of that by converting that into a room. He sees that no one is there. Not even traces of a person, such as footprints, can be found anywhere. I feel this like there was, was an apparition. Strange. Uh, but Nick doesn't really think much of it, since plenty of other strange things have happened before inside his apartment. Though, it would be a few nights later when the strangest encounter okay. happens. Never mind, there was no Nick apparition. is once again woken up by strange noises from his attic. Only this time, he like, decides to check it out as it happens. Needless to like say, doors like what's that. captured here you look is into pretty the darkness. spooky. Reminds me of Paranormal Activity movie. Because I've been hearing weird noises and shit. And this door has been like opening and closing. Yo, what the fuck? 
bro if that happened in front of me i would freeze like i would go in complete ice mode like you know what that feeling is when you get so scared you just can't even move i don't know if you guys ever experienced that but i've been in that in a couple of experiences where it's like you're so scared where you can't even move like you have no clue what to do it, it can't process but this man grabs the door handle after it shuts like i wouldn't be doing that i'd be going the opposite way i <laughs> <laughs> that's for certain i ain't going up those stairs absolutely the door not. to the attic somehow opens on its own as soon as nick approaches it feeling that is spooked, a death trap. nick it's is like, completely unsettled by this in. incident Test it's now apparent waters. that something strange is going on i'm gonna but possess as things can get any more creepy that's literally the, the vibes night, i'm getting nick is recording that. his dog when he captures this What was that? Yo. That would freak me out, guys. My dog has done that a couple of times, but... It's time, bro. It just makes you freeze a little. Yep, take a deep breath, bro. Absolutely not. Hey, that sounds like my Logitech G920 Yo. wheel. Calibrating. <laughs> Either that or it could have been that sliding uh, glass closet. Actually, no, hold up. That's moving. Nick's dog immediately goes in high Did alert. Did you guys just see that? His dog is sensing something. This right here. Hold up. Oh, no. Hold up. Why did I just try to point at that? Hold up. Time out. Look at this. It's moving. So, definitely. That Nick's could have been had something goes to do in with high it. Alert. His dog is sensing something I that I doesn't appear to, to be there. That. that was it's as embarrassing. He senses huh. something dangerous. With all that's happened before, Nick believes that something isn't right with his apartment. He believes it might be haunted and thinks that the attic might have something to do with Might? That is a might be haunted? That is 100% confirmation that it is haunted, my guy. Your door is moving. You have knocking sounds coming from your bedroom. You have footsteps coming from your attic. I would have to say that is 110% confirmed at that time that you need to move out. This. Whether ghost or not, he's deeply unsettled by these incidents. Despite living somewhere else now, he can't seem to forget the strange events that have happened there. So then, just what exactly was going on inside Nick's apartment? Like most videos, this one remains a mystery. This next video was recorded by a security camera inside an apartment complex. Not much is known about this video, Bro, it's got a black except cat. that it came from this residential building where the little girl and her family reside. The video starts off with footage of the young girl playing by a staircase. Bro, why is she down there by herself alone? What parent is failing, bro? Ain't no way I'm letting my kid go down in a deep, dark, what is that? Probably like a cellar type closet? Uh-uh. Yeah, go get Below your bike. Below the stairs <laughs> is what appears to be a small room. Absolutely not. The little girl can be seen staring at something inside the room but nothing noticeable can be seen on footage. Or at least, that's what the child's parents initially thought. It was only after watching this video multiple times that the parents were left horrified. Something was actually captured inside this room. Take a look. Hold up. Bro, there is something in that room. There's the hand, bro. See that? Yo, you need to get your child out immediately. Because children, bro, are the first targets to evil spirits. And something that's creeping in a cellar type like that. It now becomes clear as to why the. You know for sure that ain't no angel. The little girl seemed hesitant to go inside. A disembodied hand can be seen beckoning to the girl. It almost oh, that is just that looks like the rake seems to come out of nowhere before disappearing into thin air. That Even hand the cat is who later joins the girl seems unsure about going inside. Whatever this might have been was concerning enough to make them reluctant about entering the space. This mysterious footage, like most videos, has yet to be solved. Nah. But until then, you nope. be the judge on what was captured inside this room. 
that's an apartment complex you need to shut down and rebuild. I'm not going to lie, bro. You're going to lose so many clients from that. George Cruz and his wife had just finished making dinner and were heading towards the living room to eat their meal. The couple sit close to each other while watching their favorite TV program. As minutes pass, it appears that nothing strange is happening in this footage. But fast forward to just a few more seconds and something happens that scares the living daylights out of the couple. Prior to this incident, George and his wife had been experiencing strange occurrences inside their house. Before having to document any of these occurrences, they would often wake up in the dead of night and hear faint whispering. Leave down in the comments, do you guys live in a place that's haunted? If so, do you guys have videos of these places being haunted? Send them my way. Join my Discord. If you join my Discord, drop that in the media. I will gladly react to your guys' personal videos and I'll even shout you out. Maybe we'll even do that. So it's like a subscriber video at the end of the video where we have to react to it. If you guys do live in a haunted place or if you guys have ever experienced anything haunted or even if you got scary TikToks, anything like that that have not really been seen, share it in the Discord. I'd love to see it at me in it. I'll react to your content. Coming from somewhere inside the house. But creepiest of all is when the couple would see household items move on their own. Hold up, time out. Please tell me that was in the video, bro. That whispering. Hold up. Been experiencing strange occurrences inside their house. Bro, that just tweet. Before having out. to document any of these occurrences, they would often wake up in the dead of night and hear faint whispering coming okay. from somewhere inside the house. <laughs> But creepiest of all oh. is when the couple would see household items move on their own. Oh, I thought Over that was time, the activity has become so intense that the couple has asked for help from those who specialize in the paranormal. It was recommended that they set up cameras around their home to capture evidence of the so-called paranormal activity. So the couple act accordingly. Weirdly enough, they were also told to get rid of a certain item inside their house. George First of all, why do you have a rocking chair that has 666? You have the ritual crossings on your armrest. Yeah. I mean, bro, what do you expect's going to happen when you're inviting that? Literally, hey, bro, you're literally asking Satan be like, take a seat. Take a seat right in my house. Like and his wife owned an old rocking chair. And apparently this chair is the source behind all the activity. Then so get the rid couple of it. does exactly Give it to that Wart. by selling it. <laughs> Give it and the surprisingly, museum. a buyer has taken Buying an interest the in purchasing the chair. All yours. The couple holds onto the chair until the buyer comes over to pick it up sometime next week. But in the meantime, something very strange is captured on their cameras. No one is home when this is captured. Satan himself is rocking. I told you, you invited it. Why would you even take that? I wouldn't take that. No way, shape, or form. Absolutely not. I'm talking too much. <laughs> I'm a little scared. <laughs> Bro, if I seen that and I wasn't home, I'm not going home. Like, you get that notification, something's moved in your living room? Uh-uh, not a chance. You ain't got no animals or anything. <coughs> Loud noises. It's not happy, that's for sure. How long have you had this chair? Eerily, the chair begins to rock back and forth before somehow other objects inside the house like move on their own. Like something that table. Although terrified by what was captured, the couple is glad they had caught this. They can now show this video to those who've doubted their claims. However, this wouldn't be the only footage they'd be showing because as of recent, more activity has been caught on camera. Not long after this video, the following incident was captured. Take a look. Bro, it's gonna start rocking in front of them. How much you wanna bet? Here it goes. Bro, that chair is gonna start moving. What just happened? What just happened? I heard a loud sound and I didn't see anything. Now, move. moments before an object falls down, the camera pans over to the shelf as though sensing movement in that area. 
What's weird about this though is that it sensed it before the DVD case had fallen on its own. Bro, and it wants to be seen. There's some spirits that are like super difficult to catch on camera. You know, you only hear like noises once in a while. But this this is not your average Joe spirit. I think definitely with that chair and with how that chair is designed, I definitely do believe that there would be an evil entity attached to that. But you guys leave your, you know, ideas in the comments. Let's see what y'all come up with. Don't. Now, one could say that the camera picked up movement from the TV, but if that were so, then the camera would have already moved earlier, given that there were exactly. things moving on the screen way before the camera had exactly. moved. Exactly. It seems like this was a random occurrence, unless it was sensing something else. And a lot of those cameras are already The couple continued to document these strange occurrences the in the hopes that someone could explain what's happening. Ultimately, their goal is to stop the activity. But until then, it seems they'll continue to share more footage of this unusual situation. Bro, I thought you said you had a buyer coming on Tuesday. What? Next in the following you know video, a man it. is alone at home People when he do realizes that, that the lights like, in his basement bro, won't turn on. Feeling a bit reviews. scared, he walks down into the cellar with caution. I'd never According to him, haunted. it's I not could. the darkness that scares him. But the basement itself. Freak me out, man. From time to time, noises such as footsteps or the sound of someone walking back and forth can be heard coming from inside. This often happens when no one else is at home. Now the man had had this experience previously, but it was at his job. He works as a grave digger, and oftentimes, after placing a coffin inside a freshly dug grave, he would feel as though someone else was there with him. Yo. Although unable to explain this unusual sensation, it would be the following incident that leaves him extremely- Bro, see, I bet you grave diggers make a lot of money, but I could not do that job. Like, that would be a very difficult job because you deal with death on a daily, and as well as you do have the possibility of something following you home. You are the last person that they see because you have to cover the grave after the family leaves and departs. Extremely baffled. Bro, the man checks the basement to see digger, why the lights I mean, aren't turning on. Get that last, but he checks carefully you know, because, as he states, he just heard the sound of footsteps walking about as though someone is down there. Be sure to pay close attention as what was captured wasn't it's noticed weird. until looking closely. This There's so many like caught. scary stories about like grave diggers and stuff like the that, moment, what they see in the, in the graveyards and ugh. I swear I, keep I couldn't do the job. Walk. For somebody that really cares and has a passion for know. that, you know, helping exactly those get to rest and stuff like that. But and I absolutely have respect for people that can do creepy. that job. Laundry rooms Way stronger power, mentality so than I have. But the uh especially a handle and that kind of stuff. Power. Like I couldn't do it. Is completely out. I bet you'd be pretty strange. cool, though. I'm not sure. With like interacting with what some of that stuff. Was, but and you get to deal with the consequences. Right now, so. So. <sighs> we'll see. I guess. Look out back. No, nothing back there. I don't know. There's been a lot of strange things happening. Now it happens real fast, but in case you missed it, if you look closely as the man pans the camera to the bathroom, <laughs> you can see what appears to be a strange shadow-like figure standing- Oh, that's in the bathtub. That's a- Ooh. And completely still Bro, you can inside see the a bathtub. Hair it doesn't neck. appear to be moving at all, as if who, or whatever this was, had been entirely stiff. Even creepier is that when the man returns to the bathroom, the figure is no longer there. Given its strange appearance and sudden disappearance, the man thinks that something supernatural was captured. Yeah, that's definitely But as bad, always, though. I'll leave it to you to come up with your the own man, conclusions. The man, dude, that's, see, Could that's the Could it be that someone had broken in and quickly hid away from the man? Or might this be something completely different? It's hard to say, man. Good luck. This next video was taken inside an old restaurant that is currently being renovated. The person recording this doesn't say where exactly this footage was taken, and for good reason. Aside from privacy, this place isn't safe to be in. It's not just the construction that makes it unsafe, but rather something else. For just an idea of why that is, the owners of the restaurant are deeply afraid of the strange things that have happened here. Now the person recording this is someone who I featured in a previous video. They too have been experiencing strange happenings and believe that it won't stop unless they move out from home. Given their experience with this unusual phenomenon, they were invited to see this restaurant before it's completely demolished. Although expecting to see something unusual, nothing happens. 
that is, until much later when they head over to the back of the restaurant. Ooh, there's a what face. happens then is terrifying to say the least. This is what they caught. Look at that, you can see a face. Yup. It's gonna happen oh, now. It's cold right here. Just do that Bro, is that somebody in that corner? Hold up. Was that Hello? somebody in the corner in that room? I'm not going up there. Definitely not going there. Bro, did y'all just hear that hello? That was the most satanic hello mm -hmm. I've ever heard in my life. Oh, wow. It, it is really cold right here. What was that? Yo. No. Yup, no! Back up! I don't think it's happy we're here. Bro, I have the goosebumps, bro. I have mad goosebumps. Oh, bro, it's that over here. Yo, get out of there, bro. You are about to get possessed. Like... Oh, holy... Dude, there's... Initially, a strange shadow can be seen peeking from a corner. The man, whose name Bro, is Wynn, doesn't notice it until much later, after feeling that was a sudden such drop a disoriented in temperature. Voice. The room suddenly becomes cold, like, when out of nowhere, the small figure is seen by to Wynn. 10 voices just Upon in seeing one this, voice. he quickly it hides away, sound... as if frightened by oh, whatever no. this was. Bro, that... But as if things couldn't get any creepier, that is a very the mysterious dark shadow entity, disappears. Dude, and if that's your business, you need to go somewhere else, because you're going to have devastation. walks out as fast as possible and ends the video there. If the reason for demolishing the restaurant is to get rid of whatever this was, then maybe it's best to completely relocate from this place. Absolutely. But until further info is given to clarify this incident, it seems that we won't know for sure as to who that, or even what was inside this restaurant. It's prominent. It's there. and it, it seems Thanks for now. watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Alright. Let's kick it out to the outro. That does it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys did enjoy the video here today. It was episode five, so and that leads us on to episode six that will be dropping on Wednesday. Like I said, if you guys are enjoying these videos, our schedule is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so make sure to turn on that post notification so you get notified when new videos drop. If you guys do want to also communicate with me, make sure to join my Discord, link in bio. Um, other than that, if you guys did enjoy this video, it was made by Bizarre Bub. I'll leave the link in the description if you guys want to check it out yourself, share it some love, but it's been fun. My name is Arrow. And I'll see you guys in the next video.